Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss about a new video series on Earth Observation Browser and how we can easily use this tool and do for the different types of remote sensing analysis. So, I will try to start from the beginners and then step by step I will try to complete all of those things about the EO browser. So, first of all introduction. So, basically EO browser is a free special data visualization tool which allows users to search and study a vast amount of satellite imagery. So, using the Earth observation browser, we can easily visualize the different types of satellite images. It can be Landsat, Sentinel, MODIS, Land Cover Dataset. So, a lot of dataset we can easily visualize using the EO browser. And it brings together products like Sentinel 2, Sentinel 3, then Landsat 5, 7, 8, Landsat 9, and this type of satellite images we can easily access from this EO browser and visualize it. And then your browser is an easy to use a web application. We can easily use the different types of art observation web application and publicly available with the no registration needed to access the standard function. And it combines any remarkable features such as the comparison of data to easily identify the changes, various visualizations such as true color, false colors, or NDVI or different types of things we can easily get from here as well as we can easily uh, get the custom band combination and even some data processing mechanisms allows the user to run the classification script. So we can also use uh, write the different types of script in here. So first of all I try to discuss about the visualization of data. How we can easily visualize the data using the EO browser or our observation browser. So first of all, uh, after completing the registration, you can simply go to the link. You can see this is the link about that. Uh, apps.sentinelhub.com EO browser. So this is the link about that. So simply go to this link. Then you can easily get a web GIS interface will open. And, and here we can easily search, visualize, pin, and perform the different types of analysis. So in this time, I just simply open, go to this link, and then try to view that. And before that, you have to registration with your account. So just simply copy the link and I open this link in a browser. So now you can see it will be go to this art observation browser. So basically, this is the user interface of the art observation browser. So here we can get the different types of satellite data and we can easily uh, get the different types of analysis. Okay, and finally, we can easily export this type of data, make the uh, different types of time series chart, a lot of things we can easily uh, use. And we can also use this user interface to write the different types of custom script. And then we can easily make the different types of web application for art observation. Okay, so this is, a, is the user interface of this uh, art observation browser. So, for using this uh, different types of tool, first of all, you have to Registration. Okay. For registration, it's very easy process. Simply you can simply go to this link. So here I already registration. I simply show you that. Suppose you can simply go to this. You can see this is the link about that. So simply go to this user interface or you can simply search on the Google. Suppose you can simply search EO browser. So then you can see the EO browser. So this simply you can simply go to this link. This is the art observation browser. Sentinel Hub. Click on here. So here you can see all of those details about the Earth Observation Browser. So first of all, you have to click on the sign in button. This is the sign in button. So here you can see, here you can see I already uh, sign up about this. So simply sign out. I simply sign out that. And you can see the sign up button. Okay. So simply click on the sign up button and put all of this information, your email, your username, your password, and simply submit that. Okay. Then you can get the confirmation in your email. And from this email, you can easily access the data. And finally, you can simply log in with your uh, Gmail and also put the password. Then click to the sign in. So now it will be a uh, login in my dashboard. So basically, this is that art observation dashboard. So from here, we can easily access. You can see now we can easily access the Sentinel Hub. 
an art observation browser okay i simply click on here art observation browser so then you can see the i simply open the open art browser art observation browser so now it open my user interface so this is the user interface of the art observation browser or eo browser so now i talk about the user interface of this browser so first of all here you can see uh, this is the eo browser so this side we can easily get the different types of discover you can see the discover this tab including different types of uh, satellite images such as you can see the sentinel 1 sentinel 2 sentinel 3 sentinel 5t landsat uh, 1 to 5 4 5 7 landsat 8 9 harmonized landsat sentinel we can also get the modis or uh, dem data set you can see digital different model data set probabilities uh, we can get the planet uh, nicfi data so all of those things we can easily get and visualize and we can easily um, show the display the result as well as we can also do for that different types of analysis remote sensing analysis okay and here you can see the search bar about that so you can simply search your own place suppose in this time i need the data for the suppose dhaka city simply search here the dhaka so i simply search the dhaka you can see dhaka bangladesh so in this time we can get the zoom level is the 12 you can see so in this time i i need this satellite image suppose in this time i need the satellite image for the region of interest for the dhaka city okay so how i can uh, import that the satellite images so it's very easy in here just simply click on the sentinel 2 you can see sentinel 2 click on here and you can see the advanced search so click on the advanced search option so first of all here you can see the uh, l1c and l2a so basically l2a is the atmosphere clearly corrected so in this time i use here the l2a and you can easily choose your cloud coverage suppose in this time i need for this uh satellite image which is the less than five percent or ten percent suppose i need the ten percent less than ten percent cloud cover images i need for the Dhaka city okay so i simply choose my range about that uh ten percent and also you can see the time range so in this time you can simply select your own time range which time you want to need suppose i need the satellite image for the month of january year of 2023 from 1st january to i also put the in date such as suppose january 2023 and uh, put here the suppose uh, 31 okay so this may time pretty simply select that and then search so in this time it display all of the styles for my study area in dhaka city okay so first of all here you can see uh this is the tiles different types of tiles which cover my region of interest in dhaka city i can easily get the result from here so here you can see i can get that uh, this type of tiles in here so here you can see the sentinel 2a we can get the acquisition time period is that 31 first january we can get the cloud cover is that uh, you can see 2.3 percent cloud cover also you can see the sentinel 2a we can get the uh, image for that uh, two percent cloud cover okay also you can see there are a lot of image styles you can get in here you can see we can get the another image you can see uh, year of 2023 21 first january 21 and we can get the zero percent cloud cover so in this time i want to visualize the image then click on the visualize in this time you can see when i click the visualize so now it visualize this satellite sentinel 2 satellite imagery for my region of interest so now i can see it visualize this satellite image this look like that so in this time here you can say i can get this satellite images look like that so i simply uh zoom in for my study area so it's the dhaka city i simply zoom in sentinel 2 and also you can see the level in this time it's showing the some level about that we can easily remove this type of level from here you can see the simply uncheck the level so now it uncheck you can see level okay so now you can see here it uh, loaded this sentinel 2 satellite imagery for my study area so now also you can see that type of ready-made option such as you can see the true color in this time showing the true color suppose you want to display the result for that false color simply click on the false color so now it displays the result for the false color you can see it's showing as a false color okay now it displays the result as a false color you can get this type of open combination also you can see the highlight optimized natural color so click on here you can see now we can get the result for this also you can see suppose you want to calculate the ndvi just click on the ndvi so now we can get the result for the ndvi okay, you can say i can get the ndvi for these tiles as well as also you can see the false color r1 so just click on here also again the moisture index okay 
So this type of things we can easily apply in here and we can easily get the result. Also, you can see the SWIR. So this type of things we can easily apply as well as we can also apply the uh, different types of you can see the NWI for the water index we can easily apply. So this type of things we can easily apply from here. Also, you can see the NDSI. Okay, so you can easily get that and you can see click on here you can get the more information about that normalized different snow index. Okay, also you can see the sense classification. So we can also classify this type of things about that. Okay, so a lot of things we can easily get from here as well as also you can see here custom. So click on the custom. So now we can easily uh, put here the different types of composite. Okay. From here, suppose you can see this is the all of those band in here. So now from here, I uh, choose the band such as I choose the band for short wave infrared one, then near infrared, and put here the green. So now it creates this type of band combination. You can easily get the result using this band combination. Okay. So any any band combination you can easily apply in here, and you can easily get the result in here, as well as always you can index about that. So you can see you can easily apply different types of index. As well as you can also apply the different types of ratio. So this is the index we can easily apply. As well as we can also monitor the ratio. If you want to make the different types of ratio, just uh, select this and put here the ratio. Which ratio you need? Suppose I need the ratio for that um, short wave infrared band and also near infrared band. So now you can see I can get the result look like that. Suppose I want to calculate the index. So just simply select that. Suppose you want to calculate the index for the NDVI. So for that, simply call the near infrared band and call the red band. So this is the red band. Okay. So now you can see here, we can simply get the NDVI result in here. So near minus red divided by near plus red. As well as you can also apply the color plated. So different types of color band you can see. Color plate we can easily use for getting the proper NDVI map okay, or NDVI visualization. We can get the proper NDVI visualization map using that. So this type of things analysis we can easily do using this EO browser tool. Okay. So as well as you can also apply the custom script. We can see in this time we are also applying the different types of custom script in this chat. You can see. So we can easily write this type of uh, JavaScript code, and then we can easily make the different types of remote sensing analysis in this platform. We can easily use the different types of equation, different types of things we can easily do using this platform. Okay, so as well as also you can see the another thing is that uh, in this time, suppose you want to calculate it about that uh, any uh, pixel times switch chart for NDVI or NDWI, what is the condition for that? So for that it's very easy. You can use the point as well as you can also use the polygon. Suppose I want to use here the point, just simply click on the point. And suppose this is my study area, simply select that. And now you can see here, it already created. I simply click on the center about that. So this is my study area about. And you can see this option about that. Uh, click on here. So now it calculated about this time three chart. What is the condition of NDVI for the different time? We can easily get in here. So now you can see here this result about showing this type of result you can easily get in here for the different time. Also, you can see just simply decreasing the out cover. Okay, so as well as you can also you can see the discover, you can see. Suppose you want to show this result, simply click on here. You can get the result, you can see this type of result. And finally, you can also uh, export this. Simply click on the download this image. In this time here, you can see the you want to download the image as a different format. If you want, you can download the image as a JPG. You can see the PNG format. You can easily download this image array. As well as you can also download the, this thing is that using the different types of Tip format. You can see the tip format is available for that. So you can easily download the image as a tip format from here and uh, make these different types. You can see, suppose in this, you want to download the NDVI, simply select the NDVI. And if you need the specific band, which band you want to need, simply select this type of band. 
the post which band you want to need simply select this type of band for your study area and simply download it as a tip format download it simply download then it will be downloaded as a tip format and then you can easily use it for other types of geospatial software okay. so in this time i can easily download it from here and work with for the other geospatial software for making the map for your research paper or other things you can easily do okay so basically this is the process for that how we can easily use the art observation uh basically we can also use it for the different types of web application uh for the art observation for the remote sensing analysis okay so for the next tutorial i also try to discuss about this uh for the next topic how we can easily use the different types of web application using the art observation browser and make it okay so if you have any question or any doubt you can simply contact with me as well as if you want to join my upcoming online training program for the google earth engine so basically uh, this is the total seven days online training program for the non-coders who don't have any knowledge about the programming they can easily join this online training program uh the next best will be start from that 10th november okay and now the registration is open for this 10 november if you want to join this online training program with 50 percent discount so as soon as possible you can simply contact with this whatsapp number and also contact with this email as well as um, this online training program uh, mainly we focus for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the coding mainly javascript as well as who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine so after completing this online training program you are do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the google earth engine platform mainly land use land cover mapping your quality monitoring time series chart analysis calculating any indices supervised classification and supervised classification different types of machine learning method so all of those things i try to add in my video description you can simply check the video description about that and then if you want to join this online training program you can also get the some benefit is that you can get the e-certificate after completing after submitting all of those assignments you can get the material practice code recorded video class if you miss any live training then you can easily cover it from the recorded video class you can also get the lifetime teaching support when you face any problem you can easily get the lifetime teaching support okay so our new best training will be start from the 10 november this time inshallah and if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact with this whatsapp number and email and if you want to join the 50 percent discount as soon as possible booking your seat and join our google classroom and whatsapp group thank you for watching that